Hi, this is Connie. Today we're going to prepare a creamy and tasty pasta dish that everyone will enjoy, because of the silky texture and slight tanginess of the tomato sauce, tomato ricotta pasta. And hi, this is Vince. Welcome to our channel, a quick recipe. We're going to start with the prepping of the ricotta cheese base that gives this recipe the creaminess that everyone loves about it, which will feed four hungry adults. In a mixing bowl, we'll add 12 ounces of whole milk ricotta cheese that will be broken down, so it becomes aerated or aerified. Now a half cup of grated cheese is thoroughly folded into the ricotta. You can use Parmigiano-Reggiano or Pecorino-Romano cheese, or a blend of both, depending upon the saltiness that you wish. Just remember that Pecorino is made from sheep's milk versus cow's milk, and is quite a bit more salty. We're putting it aside, and moving on to prepping the tomato sauce. Preheat a large pan, and add enough extra virgin olive oil to cover the bottom of the pan. Once the oil is up to heat, add a medium-sized sweet onion that has been chopped. While the onions are sautéing, start boiling the water for the pasta. Add kosher salt and coarse black pepper to taste. There isn't a great number of seasonings used in this recipe, so a more liberal amount of salt and pepper is acceptable. Even the addition of dried chili flake or Calabrian chili paste is also worth considering, if a little more heat is wanted. The object is to bring the onions to a beautiful translucence. Once the pasta water is heated, take a cup of it, and add a very little bit at a time to the ricotta and cheese mixture. The liquid and the heat from the water, add the creaminess that we're looking for. And put the bowl aside again. Once the onion is properly translucent, add about 28 ounces of canned tomato puree, or passata. We're using passata, which is a type of Italian bottled tomato puree made from fresh peeled tomatoes. Don't confuse it with canned tomato puree found in American stores, which is heat processed. Since these products are usually slightly, or not seasoned at all, add kosher salt and coarse black pepper to taste. We also add a tablespoon of cane sugar to reduce the tartness of the tomatoes, and mix everything well. Once the tomato sauce comes to a consistent low simmer, add the ricotta cheese mixture. Take a moment to subscribe to our quick recipe channel, and give us a like. It makes it possible to create more episodes for you. And continue stirring until the sauce becomes a beautiful shade of pink. Then remove the sauce from the heat and add the pasta directly into the pan with the sauce. And make sure to thoroughly coat the pasta. When the pasta is nearly ready to plate, add chopped fresh basil and allow it to wilt but not cook. We want to maintain the fresh flavor of the basil. You can also add either fresh or dried oregano to finish it off. Here's the list of ingredients for tomato ricotta pasta that will serve 4 hungry adults. Start with 12 ounces of whole milk ricotta cheese. Then you'll need a half cup of grated cheese, either Parmigiano-Reggiano or Pecorino-Romano. You can use either one or a blend of both depending on the saltiness desired. 28 ounces of canned tomato puree, or bottled passata. 1 medium sweet onion chopped. Extra virgin olive oil. Kosher salt and coarse black pepper. 
1 tablespoon of cane sugar 1 pound of tubular pasta, like rotini as we used, or rigatoni A handful of fresh basil chopped And optionally, some fresh or dried oregano You can review the list in the show more section below Plus there's a download link there also for the entire recipe Here it is, the creamy pasta dish that will bring them back for more the blend of ricotta and tomatoes is a long-time recipe that is one of our favorites, and is truly a quick recipe. Bon Appetit! Here are a few more tips and recipes that you may find interesting. Also, check out our website, aquickrecipe.com, for more interesting cooking ideas. Thanks for watching. See you next time on our YouTube channel, A Quick Recipe.